we are ready for the calibration for pressure correction. This needs to be done each time a new sheath is put on the probe because it allows to measure sheath resistance. The range is typically from 30 to 100 kPa at 1600 cc for an end size probe. Step 1. Before we begin, make sure that the probe is unconfined and placed at ground level. Step number 2. Connect the Tekalan tubing to port number 1 and place the valve number 5 to test. Step number 3. Connect the pressure gauge on port number 3 and turn it on. Step number 4. Rotate the crank clockwise at a rate of 1 revolution every 2 seconds until 80 cc of liquid has been injected into the 70 mm probe or 40 cc into the 44 mm probe. Step number 5. Once this has been done, stop the injection and wait 30 seconds. Now record the pressure and the volume in the Texam companion file provided by Rocktest. Repeat steps 4 and 5 until 1600 cc has been injected into the 70 mm long probe or 800 cc into the 44 mm probe. Now slowly rotate the crank counterclockwise to return the piston to its initial position and the counter reads 0 cc. Finally, plot the curve of injected volume versus pressure on the counter. Let's complete the volume correction so we can finish the preparation. This calibration must be done each time a membrane is assembled and the system is saturated. Rocktest recommends to repeat this calibration every day the pressure meter is used. Step number one, connect the Tekalan tubing to port number one. Step number two, place valve number five on test. Connect the pressure gauge on port number three and turn it on. Step number three, place the probe inside a rigid steel pipe. Use a NW or AW drill casing or equivalent for the 70 and 44 millimeter diameter probe that you are using. Make sure that the counter is at zero CC and then install the large crank handle. Step number four, Rotate the crank handle clockwise until you reach 500 kPa. Start the chronometer. Maintain the pressure close to the set pressure by slightly rotating the crank handle but stop doing this when you reach the 50 second mark. Record the volume pressure after 60 seconds in the Texam companion file. Step number 5. Repeat step number 4 until you reach 6000 kPa and use the large crank handle as soon as you feel resistance. If your tests are going to be done in hard material where the pressure is expected to exceed 6000 kPa, follow the same calibration procedure while using increments of 1000 kPa up to 10,000 kPa. Now, return the piston to its lowermost position to decrease the pressure and return the volume to zero. Remember, deflate the probe slowly. Your Texam is ready to be used in the field. Please keep in mind that it is important to read the manual carefully to make sure that the Texam is being used and maintained properly.